Hey, what up guys, Pixelated here, and on today's orphan video, we're going to be talking about on how to farm Octavius. So, as you guys might know, the, the Octavius Anthem quest came out a couple of days ago, and a lot of people, after finishing the quest, have been wondering on how to farm Octavius specifically. Now, if you guys didn't know, uh, you don't, you really don't get all the parts uh, of Octavia from the quest and everything, so you basically have to farm all of the parts, okay? Basically, like Nidus, you have to farm all of the parts. So, on my last video, I don't think I really explained it well on how you farm Octavia specifically and uh, I've been getting like three I, I think I got like three dislikes for that and a lot of people have been telling me to make a specific video about it so today I thought I would make a video talking about on how to farm Octavia and everything so yeah today we're gonna be talking about on how to farm Octavia so let's just get right let's just get right into it okay I'm, I'm, I'm kind of dizzy right now so yeah if you guys didn't know if you guys go to the market and like check Octavia you know you'll see that it, it says that uh, you get the blueprint after finishing the Octavius Anthem quest, which is from which you get from Cephalon Suda on the relay, and all the other parts have to be farmed from either the Orc in Derelict or Lua. Now, here's the thing: two of the parts can be found in Lua, and one of the part can be found in Orc in Derelict. Now, that really doesn't explain shit. Okay, clearly, it it really doesn't fucking explain shit if you ask me, which is a pain in the ass because. I, at least I would expect someone to tell me on how to farm these parts, okay? That's where a lot of players have been getting pissed, like, where the fuck do I farm these parts? So, I thought I would, like, you know, basically, I was lost when I finished the quest. I was like, hold on, so, 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 yeah, that, that's it. Now I get to build Octavia, right? And the game was like, no, 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 bro, you, 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 you gotta, you, you have to farm some parts and shit, so... And I know a lot of people have been getting wrong on that, like, what the fuck is this? this is, it was such a good, good quest, and now they're telling us to farm parts. Well, you see, that's how it works. That's how they basically made the quest playable. I don't know if that's the perfect thing for it, but basically, what they did is that they're gonna make you enjoy the thing first, then they're gonna make you farm, so the farming is, like, whole less painful for you guys. So... Yeah, that's basically the thing, but trust me, the quest was absolutely beautiful, and I will suggest you guys to try it out. So, as I said, uh, yeah, the parts for Octavia, can two of those parts can be found in Lua, and one of those in Orc and Derelict. So, the chassis and the systems can be found in Or- uh, not in Orc and Derelict, the chassis and the systems can be found in Or Lua, and the, the helmet can be found in Orc and Derelict. Now, how do you farm these specifically, and what does Lua have to do with it? So, if you guys didn't know, they added, like, caches on Lua Exterminate missions. So, if you guys go to Exterminate missions on Lua right now, you guys will have, you'll, you guys will see that Lotus will tell you to find some caches uh, when the mission begins and shit. So, basically, you guys will have to find caches to get, to get a chance uh, at Octavia's system. Now, here's the thing. The Lua, Lua's map is a natural disaster, okay? It's like a catastrophe fucking disaster or something like that. And the, the map is just a complete clusterfuck in my opinion, okay? There's like a thousand fucking rooms that you can go to and it will take you basically, it will take you ages to find those three caches, okay? It will basically take, it, it could help, it could even take you an eternity to find those caches. But, here's the thing, if you find the first cache, you have a chance of getting Octavia's system. So basically, even if you don't get three caches, you still you still have a chance at, at Octavia's system. So that's how you get Octavia's system, but make sure you find all of the three caches so you have a higher chance at getting Octavia's system. So basically, uh, you guys have to go around the map. I, I would suggest two Lokis and two tanky frames, okay? Because Loki can run around the map and, uh, like, find things pretty quickly. So I would suggest two Lokis and two other frames to basically kill things and everything. That that would make the process much more uh, pain painless, I guess. Because the map, like I said, is a fucking disaster. So, yeah, bring that and... Basically, that's how you get the systems. And one other thing at Lua is that is uh, that there you you are also going to get the chassis from here. I'm going to get that in a bit, but make sure you guys find all of the crates if you wanna get uh, if you wanna get a shot at the system. So basically, that's how you get the systems. And look around everywhere, basically everywhere. Uh, the look uh, nooks and crannies, every single room. Go to every single room. Basically, the crates will be in. They're not gonna be much hidden, but you're gonna have to find them. Okay. So basically, that's how you get uh, all the caches and the systems. So let's get let's get to the part where you farm the chassis so 
yeah, basically, yeah, I just wanted to show you a clip that you get the systems from this, because otherwise people won't believe me. They're gonna be like, hey, yeah, you, you're basically fucking lying, but yeah, whatever. Th this is the room, okay? This is the puzzle room that you guys wanna look for. Yes, this is the puzzle room. So there is like a new puzzle room on Lua. It's like a sound puzzle and it's connected to Octavia very well, quote unquote, very well. So you have to find this puzzle room and you have to finish the puzzle in order to get the chassis. Now, let me tell you, this puzzle room is very easy. Basically, you hack, the, you, you hack that console first or that thing that you see in the front and it will play a music. And you see you see those pads, they're gonna be glowing, they're gonna be glowing up and you're gonna have to follow the pad that the console tells you to so first you're gonna see the pad that lights up then you're gonna have to repeat that sound in order to finish the thing so basically that's how you do it okay and after you finish it uh, you're gonna you are gonna have to go up to get the chassis it's very easy but the fact is this room sometimes can be a pain in the ass to find because like I said Lua is like a very big map and this and sometimes it's late it's fucking annoying basically okay it's basically fucking annoying sometimes so yeah that's how you pretty much uh, like um, finish the puzzle a guy well uh, like took me through this so thank god for that I, I, I didn't even know how to do this so yeah basically after finishing that you go to uh, you go up and you uh, get Octavia's chassis and everything and let's talk about how to farm the neuroptics okay now the neuroptics can be a pain in the ass because you can farm the neuroptics in Orkin Derelict Survival and it's on rotation C which means you have to stay at least 20 minutes in the survival so basically stay till 20 minutes and it will drop the neuroptics for you guys and everything like that but here's the thing uh, there's been a bug lately on PC where you don't get any rewards after five minutes I tried that today and the bug is very true you don't get any rewards whatsoever after five minutes which is pain in the ass but if you want to farm Octavia's neuroptics you're gonna have to stay till 20 minutes on Orkin derelict survival that means uh, each every 20 minutes you're gonna get a shot at Octavia's helmet so basically guys that's how you farm Octavia and everything like that so I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and guys uh, you guys have been asking me why don't I upload regularly and everything and that's the fact that I got school I got some other stuff I do animations and shit I got programming and stuff like that so I'm really busy with that stuff so yeah re really sorry about that yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button if you enjoyed the video guys if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button because hitting that subscribe button helps me out a ton and yeah I'll catch you guys on the next one peace hope you all have a great day